you guys, we're live at the Dirty Factory and today we're going to be installing the Dirty Factory taillight and plate bracket delete kit that I've designed myself and really cleans up the rear of the bike. It's a little bit of work, there's a little bit of cutting, but you always can go back, you always can buy a $50 piece of plastic. We're going to get right into it, taking these plastics off and getting this thing looking right. Alright, we got all the plastics off. Real straightforward here. Um, you're now I'm gonna come down to the bottom side, which on a stock bike you would have your plate coming off right here. But we need to remove these four bolts that line up with our mount right here. And you can either mount this directly to your aluminum frame by taking off the whole rear under fender. Um, and then, you know, dirt would splash up on your over fender. But what we're actually gonna do, you trim right up along this and then you can keep your under fender. But we'll show you both ways. Now that you got those four bolts out, this plastic will just be loose. It's just held up by the, these zip ties and the wiring. So you'll just want to unplug these from the stock harness, remove these couple zip ties just to loosen this up. And then you can drop this whole fender if you are going for not cutting up this mount. Uh, we're gonna show you that and then you might chop her up. So this is obviously we're just dropping this down for now but you can go ahead and mount this directly to the subframe if you don't want to cut this up. So now let's get to cutting. Now that you got this down you want to go ahead and remove these clips on the insides that hold in your turn signals. And you want to remove these two bolts here so that you can take out the rear tail light and this trim will come along with it. It's a 10. Let's see. There is a plastic piece of plastic on the inside that like locks it in. ears pop up. There you go. And then there you go. And then it just, what we're doing here, we're just taking these out and we're gonna put them off that so that I'd never use them again. But say you guys ever wanted to go back stock after you cut this, you just buy this for about 50 bucks to replace this under fender. underneath. I guess you can figure out how to do it. Next, once you get your tail light removed and your turn signals. Alright guys, so we have it marked up for you on the inside here with the silver sharpie where you're going to be trimming your stock mount for the tail light. You're going to start out with tin snips further away and then you're going to clean it up with an exacto knife. <laughs> no going back. <laughs> okay, fuck this piece. I like your tactic of you know, getting rid of the big burst. It's thick, but I don't even know if I'll be able to like actually cut it with a razor. Once you have this piece off, you'll be able to trim it up nicely with this. Don't need all this, right? This all goes. Mm -hmm. Yep. All this goes. Yep. 
Like we're not using a oh no, this stays, right? Yeah, that stays. Alright, so like you can cut it like to... straight up that way. Yeah, that one. That's a little bastard. There she is. New plastic cuts are nice for ten cents. There she is. Feel the piece that that all gets cut off too. Like, I don't even know if I'll be able to cut this with the razor. Like that's that's some thick plastic. Yeah. Well, you have your Dremel yeah. that you can clean off the corners with down this more, and then like you can trim that corner once you get more of it off. People would be so hot about this. What? Cutting it up into the plastics. You don't have to do this with any of the others? Like you with a new channel it or no? Unless you want to put those side uh, plates and stuff. And then it has like an ugly plate on the back of that, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. But weight savings, bro. Yeah, don't, don't go past it. Yeah, don't go the way about shave that down to fit with the mount. Mm -hmm. Imagine how I was just going into it blind. <laughs> hey, this was your idea. Yeah. I would say, you know, cut a tiny bit and hold it up. Just to show you guys, now we have this flush cut off along our marked lines. This is a lot easier with a Dremel, but we just use, you know, some tints and a razor blade. Very sharp razor blade. But this will be ten times easier if you have a small Dremel at home. I just uh, didn't bring mine along. Eric will thank me later. Um, so now you just want to fit up once you have this all trimmed out so that you can get your last 45 degree angle here that fits up with the mount. We'll show you that in a second. You're going to follow this up at a 45. Pretty much. Take little bits away at a time until you get it flush with the mount. Just the tops, huh? Making me nervous with the cuts torches. <laughs> this man uses a knife every day though. Boom. 
Now the easy part, once she's all trimmed up, just get your four bolts in, plug it right into your OEM harness. But she's in there. You can lift off the whole bike at this point now. Yeah. When your kit comes with these five screws, <gasps> these four screws, comes with this bracket here, this one is here. These two are interchangeable. If you want to use the factory plate light, you'll use this mount if you want it the plate more tucked and don't want to use that light you'll use this mount you'll use three of the shorter screws to mount together this piece here is just if you don't want to run the plate if you're riding off-road blocks off the holes and you'll just use two screws in the front portion of the mount there's two short screws here and here in order to mount the block off plate, you're not running a plate for off-road use. Now I'm gonna show you how you go about mounting the plate on if you'd like. You can use one of the two provided mounts. This one is gonna light your plate up at night. This one is just gonna tuck your plate up even, even further away from the wheel. Uh, neither have clearance issues, but that's just a more tucked look. And then these three holes here, you'll use the shorter screws to mount it to. And then you'll use your four longer screws to mount it onto the tail light. So you have your three short screws that mounted the plate mount to the medium sized plate holder. Then you'll slide it in right underneath. And put your four longer screws up here. Friends. So these aren't flush, we're just doing this for show, but you'll put these four bolts flush to the face and you have your plate on here. Now we're gonna put the plate on real quick, show you what it looks like tucked up underneath. And now you just plug her on in. That tab goes up top. Boom, and we're wired in. Flip this underneath. Just like rolled it until, yeah. yeah, there it is. Push this, push these blocks like under. Yeah. That's the look right there, ladies and gents. Clean. It's a little work. You gotta cut a couple things up, but. Looks a lot cleaner than just slapping a block off plate here, plugging a hole there. Nice seamless look with the fender. All right, we're just wrapping her up, getting the plastics back on, got the seat back on. Just putting our final bolt in. I'm just gonna show you guys how this works in a second. Turn it on, go through the braking, the lights, turn signals, show you what this thing's all about. So we got the plate all mounted up. You can see how nice it tucks up. You're not gonna have any interference issues. Now this is the more tucked mount. Like I said, you can mount this one, which drops it about an inch or so just to mount that factory LED light that lights up your plate. You can see how tight up against the fender this thing sits. The one light's almost hidden, but it kind of glows up the fender. There's two bars you can see. I'm gonna hit the brake for you. Hit you with some turn signals. Now you can fix this hyper flash with a, a TST hyper flash fixer. But uh, Derek actually wants it to have the hyper flash. Anyway, 
want some break action. what it looks like underneath with that block off plate this is great if you're going on an off-road trip so that you don't rip your plate off but that's the whole reason i made this plate mount removable so you want to leave it on that piece will likely break off before it breaks your tail light mount we're getting her all back together Thanks for watching. All right, guys, we're back. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, we're back. No, I don't like it. 